Greetings, YouTube. Happy, I guess we'll call him, has been waiting so patiently for me to commentate his 40 Cavalier Candy Crystals from this uh, side quest that's almost over, along with maybe other things. I don't know. And so sorry, bud, that it's taken so long, but it's Crystal Opening Commentary Weekend, which is where I try to catch up on all the videos that have been sent to me. I won't be able to cover all of them. I just don't have that much time in the day. But uh, popped... 10? No 6 stars, but I see some 5 stars. Let's see, what's what's in this? A lot of 3 stars. Oh, you, you popped 40 of them. 3 5 stars. 4 5 stars, 5, five stars. 6 5 stars, no 6 stars? All of a sudden, it just, it just went to 40. Wow. Alright. I thought this video would be a lot more than that. Look at all these Nexus crystals. Looking here at uh, 16 Cavalier Nexus crystals. And you start with a six star Nexus. I have yet to do that all year. Your very first one. We'll give you get a six star from the side quest. The RNG is like, you know what? Let's, let's pay him back. No. Stop. Back to back six star Nexus. Back to back. And then a five-star Nexus. Three Nexus in the first three crystals? Or actually, maybe he's just... Uh, you know what? He's editing this so well. I think. Maybe not. Maybe that was just back-to-back. -back. At first, I thought he was tricking me with his editing. But now I'm like... Maybe he just genuinely did that. There's a six-star Carnage. It's a third six-star. You're confusing me, but in like a really cool way. Like a... How is this real life kind of way? No one's ever done that. The exit takes some notes. Uh, there's, well, there's two six-star Nexus and two five-star Nexus and 12 crystals. No matter how you edit it. And with six-star Carnage, that's three six-stars and 12 crystals. And now the last four. Will we see a fourth six-star? Shouldn't be. Nope. All three stars. And, well, a third five-star Nexus. How many Nexus crystals are going to be in this crystal opening? You know, I know that YouTubers, including myself, can over, overly use the word insane sometimes. But th that was that really was insane. What's up, Shang-Chi? Wow, all these Shang-Chi's hanging out. Five-star? Okay, cool. I don't think I'm going to pause it until the six-star Nexus. I think we'll just let it breathe. He did speed it up, which I appreciate. Uh, okay, four-star Nova, no big deal. Five-star Dad Bod next to five-star Black Bolt. That was an accidental five-star Nexus you got there. Three five-stars. Not bad. All right. Five-star Mags. So a lot of five-stars in these drop rates. A five-star Emma. Two new five-stars out of two crystals. Iron Doom is very pleased. All right, can you keep up three five stars in a row? Yes. Four five stars in a row? No. The streak ends at four. I always feel like a kid at a candy store getting to watch this. Five six-star Nexus crystals. All right. No five star there. And now he is in a uh, little bit of a, a cold streak, shall we say. Got some regular cav crystals, two three stars. There's that office meme where it's like, shows a cavalier crystal and a three star crystal, and it's like, I can't tell the difference. Well, Pam, it's because there really isn't one. Old f six star features in this. This was sent to me recently, by the way. Um, all right, so fast tap six star. Doesn't care about seven star shards, clearly. And Ebony Coleslaw appears. Omega Sentinel was right there. Uh, doesn't show whether or not Omega, or excuse me, Ebony Coleslaw was the first awakening. Doesn't seem to be happy with it, so my guess is probably not. And Wong, Wongers, makes an appearance. Two Wongs don't make a right. And there is Domino. Okay, well, Ebony Coleslaw was awakened. Okay, you could let that breathe a little bit, but I appreciate the fast-forwarding for time constraints. Happy. All right, three of these dual class to start. So much savings goes into this. So much savings. Okay. We have the six-star crystal. That is a rhino. 
That ain't good. Backs out once, I guess, accidentally, or maybe not. From a Rhino. God, there's so many bad champions in this. To Mr. Fantastic. Okay, some of you swear by him. That's good. And then non-immortal abomination, regular abomination. For the most part, pretty dang average. But then he's got another three dual class crystals. I still don't want to support the 25% jacked price inflation of these, especially because Six Star Beast is somebody who should be buffed. Although I'm one of those rare people who will admit that I, in Alliance War, a couple times actually got knocked out by Beast. Elsa is an amazing champion, especially if you have Suicide Masteries. So, kudos for that. And then Squirrel Girl Awakened. Tippy Toe level up, indeed. Alright. Now we have a six star featured from the previous featured. Another chance at Omega Sentinel. Or the Magical Moose. Or Scorpion. There's Scorpion. And Proxima Midnight. Womp, womp, womp. Great for synergies with Corvus, and that's about where her credit ends in my book. Uh, although some of you used her this week in Eternity of Pain and did well. So there's that. All right, five-star Nexus. Again, I'm not going to pause these. I'm just going to let them breathe. Mr. Sinister, all new. Happy uh, has a lot of five-stars he didn't have. That's interesting. All right, next five-star Nexus, new Ant-Man. Colossus with the uh, Awakening Gem that I guess you didn't need in the end. And then Bishop over Black Cat. That's a cool debate. Would have been even better as a six-star Nexus. Is that what's left? Five six-star Nexus. Five. All right, first one. All right, this is an interesting debate. Captain Britain versus Fishbowl versus Emma. Oh, man. I, I trust Emma the most, but I feel like Captain Britain is the play here. And the guy that I didn't name got the choice. How do you know I don't look at these beforehand? Moments like that. All right, well, I'm 0 for 1. That's not a good start for my prediction skills. All right, Professor X awakening a Silver Centurion Overseer. I'm going to say Professor X. Another good, solid Nexus, but Professor X is the logical choice, and I'm 0 for 2. That, I've never started 0 for 2. I feel ashamed of myself. All right, this one, I was going to say Wasp. Went too fast. Sorry, Carnivore, Thor, and Psylocke. Whatever, I'm one for three. Still not great. Next one, okay. That was so quick. Doom, duh. Professor X has been passed over twice now, so uh, sorry, bud. Although it does look like a 12-year-old cosplaying as Professor X. And the last one, Bishop, Null, Awakened, or Psylocke, Awakened. Normally I'd go null, but Bishop, he already just got the five-star new, so might as well get the six-star new and leave it at that. And that would mean that I would go... Never mind, I missed that again. I went two for five. That is the worst I have ever done on Nexus predictions. I have never been more of a failure on YouTube than this video. <laughs> Thanks, Happy. Uh, War Machine in the last dual class crystal. Solid champion. Especially on certain Defender nodes. For that special one unblockable. And Guillotine 2099 is another fantastic champion. Did you have her awakened? I guess we'll never know. The video just ended. Well, that was an unbelievable amount of crystals in less than 10 minutes. I am honored to commentate this. Happy thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoyed the commentary, reaction, and submission. Also, thanks for sending it via our friends at the beloved sponsor known as Evazone.